Seriously, Ketu and Wealth video 10,000 views in less than 15, 16 hours. Incredible, amazing. <laughs> but what about Saturn? Saturn. So two days back, we discussed in general combinations. And before we discussed Rahu already. And yesterday was Ketu video, which is still going. And now is Saturn. Why not Saturn? <laughs> so Saturn, as you know, represents the number eight. And 2024 is the number eight. And so here are eight combinations, placements, aspects, dignity, house, details of Saturn, which can give you grand success, massive success. And among all these, which is the most important, the number one is the most important. If you have this, you don't need to see astrology. I'm telling you, if you have this number one, just forget astrology. Just close your chart and just keep it somewhere. You will fly in life. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, which I'm sure after watching the Ketu video, you will also like this. Hit the thumbs up and share this with somebody who wants to know how their Saturn is. And for consultations regarding your chart, please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So the first thing which you should see in the chart, the first parameter is not the chart, just the date of birth. You need to check the person's date of birth. So if in the person's date of birth, there is odd number of eights, odd, uh, even number of eights, sorry, even number. So what is even number? Even is two eights, four eights, or six eights. You won't find six eights, but you may find two eights. What do I mean by two eights? Two eight means somebody is born on 18th of August. So two times there is eight, or somebody is born in 1988. But, if a person is born on August 1988, then there will be three eights. Okay, so we need even eight. So number eight in astrology is the number of Saturn. Even uh, odd eights like single eight uh, or three eights, they, they can show a lot of hard work is required. Okay, like if you see uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he he's born on 17th. So his basic number is eight. So he has he started from a very uh, grassroots and of course now he became very successful 10 years uh, 15 years back but if somebody has even eights okay so for example two eights or four eights then the person has grand success in a considerable early uh, age okay uh, of course this does not mean if you have odd eights you cannot be successful as i gave you modi ji's example but if you have even eights, you are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Okay. So let me give you some example like uh, Rishi Sunak, UK Prime Minister, then uh, Bollywood actress Deepika Padukone. Then if you see Ghazal Alag, who is one of those sharks who came in Shark Tank. Then we have Katrina Kaif, who is another Bollywood superstar. And uh, this combination specifically is very good for real estate. So if you see Niranjan Hiranandani. He is one of the most famous real estate tycoons in India. So all of them have two eights. Okay. So when I say two eights, you have to see if eight is there anywhere in the date of birth. So that is counted as one. And then you have to add your basic number. Uh, basic number means just your day. So if you are born on 8th, 17th or 26th, then there will be another eight which will be added. So for example, if you are born on uh, 17th August, so you have two eights. Okay. And then the last is, of course, the destiny number. So your entire date of birth, if you add, that should come to 8. Okay. So for example, you may have, you may be born on 17th uh, of August. Uh, so you have two 8s. But then again, if you add everything, your destiny number, that also becomes 8. So then you have three 8s. So the more you have even 8s, the probability is higher. Okay. So this is a very, very, very special number. And if you have this, you are blessed beyond beyond imagination you will have massive wealth and you will be very successful uh, you will have a lot of status you will have very good knowledge about infrastructure and all this okay now what is the second placement the second placement now comes from astrology the remaining seven placements have to be seen from astrology which means you need the horoscope okay 
so the second placement is saturn connected to the atma karaka hmm. what is the atma karaka atma karaka is the planet with the highest degree in the chart okay now why does saturn connected with the atma karaka gives you grand success because when saturn is connected to the atma karaka the person who has this does not shy away from doing hard work nowadays there's a lot of talk on smart work but people forget that smart work will only work if you also have hard work okay so first you need hard work then you add smartness into it so then it becomes smart work but people think smart work is you know just do something smart and be lazy no it doesn't mean that it means hard work combined with smartness so that is smart work so uh, saturn connected to the atma karaka the person is not shying away from hard work and if the person is doing hard work and if destiny wills if his chart permits then there is grand success you will always find this okay then now number three this is very 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 important if saturn is connected to both the lagna and the 10th house in a good dignity what do i mean by this which means if saturn is connected which means it is either aspected or conjunct the lord of lagna and the 10th only one will not do you need both the lagna and the 10th because the lagna shows your de your determination and the 10th house shows your commitment you know it's like both are together and saturn is the planet of commitment he is one of the karakas for the 10th house and he's the atma karaka of the dashamsha chart also as you know right so therefore <clears throat> now what happens is if saturn is connected to both the lagna and the 10th so for example uh we we know Sw swami prabhupada shila prabhupada who is the founder of the international society for krishna consciousness the iskon society he is a capricorn lagna with shani in the 10th house okay so now what is happening shani is associating both with the lagna and the 10th house because he is also the lagna lord right for capricorn and here although venus is not present as the 10th lord but he is himself in the 10th house so this condition is fulfilled okay of course uh, that does not mean any capricorn ascendant who has saturn in 10th house in exhortation in libra will become a multimillionaire but these are combinations which you have to keep adding gradually and then you will see grand success okay <clears throat> and if you have this combination uh this placement you will see uh that uh, the, these people they are very determined they are like i i will do it i don't care what is required i have to work 10 hours 18 hours 20 hours it doesn't matter i will do it like Prabhupada at the age of 69 he went to the u.s to preach the message of uh krishna consciousness okay who can do that at the age of 69 most of the people retire but the determination is very strong because his guru now bhakti siddhan saraswati thakur instructed him to preach this divine message in uh the west in english language okay now what is the fourth position fourth position of saturn is very important this is uh saturn in the dashamsha chart in the d10 chart which is a divisional chart for your career profession if there he is connected to the fifth house why fifth house see the fifth house in the d10 chart shows your subordinates in your workplace so if saturn is connected to the fifth lord or is aspected by the fifth lord or uh, is sitting in the fifth house in a good dignity good dignity means either he is in a um, air sign which means he is in gemini he is in libra libra is exalted or in aquarius he has multricorn or he's in art sign like Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay. So in the Dashamsha, in the fifth, or he's related to the Lord of the fifth, then you get a lot of support from your subordinates in your office. You get a lot of support from um, uh, your seniors also sometimes because they see you as sub subordinates. Okay. So, <clears throat> so this is a fantastic placement to have because uh, then what happens is a uh, saturn from the fifth house will aspect the seventh house which is the house of people again uh, your colleagues okay so there saturn will help you then 11th house shows your contacts there also you will get help okay so and then of course he will also aspect the second house where uh, second house is the house of resources so he will give you resources so you get help from subordinates from people in general the seventh house 11th house your seniors your network circles and second house resources okay 
but the condition is he has to be in a good dignity okay if he's in a bad dignity exactly the opposite can happen your sub subordinates will be against you people in general will hate you your seniors won't like you you will not get resources okay then what is the fifth placement the fifth placement is a very interesting placement this is a placement which magnifies uh the hard work of saturn or the ability to work hard but it minimizes the external uh trouble that is uh inevitable is inevitably coming with saturn okay so this is a placement where saturn is uh, connected to the ninth lord in your d1 chart but is also connected in a good way to mercury and venus so for example if saturn is uh aspected by mercury and venus and then saturn is also uh getting the aspect of the ninth lord so when the Saturn, when the ninth lord aspect Saturn, the misery of Saturn is reduced. Okay, you have the tendency to work hard, but you work hard and you see the success. Okay, the ninth house removes ob obstacles, and then Mercury and Venus. Venus will give you recognition. Mercury will give you money. So it is like saying you have a tendency to work hard, and there are <clears throat> no external obstacles, and you are getting luxuries, and you are also getting money. So it is like a perfect combination for massive wealth. All right. Do not forget this yoga. Then number six is Sun and Saturn in Parivartan Yoga. What is Parivartan Yoga? Parivartan Yoga is the yoga of exchange. So if for example, Sun is sitting in Capricorn, which is the sign of Saturn and Saturn is in Leo. So this can only occur if Saturn is in Leo because the Sun has only one sign. And so Saturn is in Leo and Sun is either in Aquarius or <clears throat> in uh, Cap in capricorn okay so then sun saturn they are in parivartan so then what happens the sun shows your authority your power and saturn shows your defamation okay so sun saturn combination can be a combination for defamation but when they are in parivartan yoga they have to protect each other's houses so what happens is uh, even if you get defamation it does not hamper your reputation okay you will always see this if sun and saturn are in parivartan and on the other hand, if you become a leader, then your subordinates, they will always support you. Or if you become an employee, your seniors will support you. Because it is like saying, sun shows the bosses and um, uh, the employees, subordinates are seen from Saturn. So you are having help both from the top and from below also. So this is a phenomenal placement. But of course, many people will have this. So this has to be supported by other combinations, okay? Otherwise, this uh, is not exactly a combination for success. But if you have a strong chart and you have this, then you will get immense support, which indirectly leads you to success, okay? So this is a very important combination. Now, this number seven combination is very interesting. <clears throat> uh, Saturn, and, Saturn and Moon. So when Saturn and Moon are uh, conjunct, they say this is Vishyo, combination of depression. But if Saturn and Moon are connected with a good Lagnesh and the Trinal Lords, so this means if Saturn and Moon <clears throat> are together in a chart and the Lagna Lord of that chart is exalted or in uh, a great position and also the Trinal Lords are good. Okay, so the fifth Lord is well placed, ninth Lord is well placed. So in this case, the Lagnesh, 5th and ninth Lords, these three Lords don't have to be connected to Moon or Saturn. They can be anywhere in the chart, but they have to be in a good dignity. And Saturn and Moon also have to be connected. So then what happens? Uh, this, this Saturn and Moon will not give depression to the person. The person will do very intense research, will go deep can think of things which nobody can imagine. <clears throat> and this person will be very practical, very realistic, will be a very strategic thinker, will be a great administrator, okay? But provided the Lagnesh and the Lord of the Trines are good in the chart. And if the Lagnesh is good and the Lord of the Trines are also good, and along with that, they are connected to this Moon Saturn. So for example, as I said, if the Lagnesh is strong and Sun, uh, Saturn, Moon are conjunct, being aspected by the ninth lord then this will also reduce the misery as i said <clears throat> in point number five okay but even if these three planets are not linked with saturn and moon but they are well placed then also this can do wonders okay and the last and the most uh deadly combination for finance is 
Saturn and Rahu in great dignity connected to the 11th house. Okay. Not Saturn or Rahu. Saturn and Rahu connected in connected with the 11th house but <clears throat> in good dignity which means Saturn and Rahu are conjunct or they are aspecting each other and <clears throat> they are somehow related to the 11th house. So it, it may be that the 11th Lord is aspecting one of them. So either 11th Lord is aspecting Saturn or it's aspecting Rahu or best case both of them or it could be that one of them is sitting in the 11th. So Saturn is in uh, fifth house and Rahu is in the 11th. So they are mutually aspecting each other. And of course, for this to work, Saturn and Rahu have to be in a good dignity. Uh, otherwise, uh, this can create problems. Okay. Now the good thing is Saturn and Rahu, they both do great in uh, fire, uh, this air signs and earth signs. Okay. So therefore, if they are both together, present in one art sign or in one other uh, air sign and the 11th lord is somehow associated then this is massive the the more the powerful the dignity the more the money that comes with this connection all right so these are eight things uh, which are related to saturn which will give you massive wealth but of course as always please look at the chart and then look at the dashas only then go for the analysis all right Thank you so much for your patience. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> if you haven't and for consultations regarding your chart, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him.